I think the All-Star event is really exciting, and we've seen it over the years. It's an opportunity for the pit crews to, to really showcase their talent. Now this determines where they will line up in the qualifying heats tomorrow. Just take a deep breath. Everyone's going to be watching. The tensions are up. You can feel it on during the pit crew events. But it's great to see the sport return to Northwest Spur Speedway and, um, you know, a lot of history, a lot of excitement and, and going there just for what this race is. I think that adds a whole other layer of excitement to it. So uh, we're looking forward to it. I feel like this year uh, we've really performed well at Hendrick Motorsports on pit road. And I think that the, the crew chiefs and the teams and the way that they're communicating is at the highest level it's ever been. Obviously, you want those guys to be able to demonstrate their abilities in front of a large crowd, in front of a bunch of people on TV, and, and um, you know, most importantly, want them to be able to have fun while they're doing it. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Just do you here. So, it's just too much. Thanks, man. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's good to get one. It's good for our team. Like, that's it. You guys are balling, bro. He, um, for him to get the third win, you know. Massive. Yeah. In that early? Well, that's what I'm saying. He's never won more than two races in a season before. So he's got to keep going, man. Yeah, going into the, the Picker Challenge, um, there will be enough added pressure, right? You're, you're pitting one car at a time. Um, but for me personally, it's just about, uh, about executing and doing what I can for my team, you know? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go, right now. Coming to us, here we go. Ready? You good? That'll work, that'll work. That'll work. You know, very rarely do we get a chance to show what we're doing when we're not out front or anything like that. Usually they show us when we do a bad job. You know, every practice, every heat training session, every day that we're in here at 6 a.m. trying to get better, getting to go out and do that against our peers, everyone else on pit road, proving what we can do and how fast we can do it, that's a really cool option. All right. Here we go. Sweet Sunoco Lord. Yes, sir. Always on me, baby. I get to you. Hey, with a little bit of flair on the can there, Walk. Pumped up the crowd mid-stop. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pump the crowd up mid-stop. That's what I did on that one. I unplug, raise the roof. People definitely cheer for you loudly on the stage. Yeah, the pit crew challenge, that's, that's gonna be what's important. You're gonna have to be able to go really fast, but I think the speed comes from doing your job well. Um, if you make small mistakes, each little mistake is going to steal some time. So um, you're not going to try to go and be faster than you normally are. You're going to try to go find that, that exact space where you're at your best uh, as a pit crew member. Have fun competing with your teammates. Right? Enjoy these moments. These moments don't last forever. All right? One day you're going to be like me. You don't even get the chance to compete with anything that matters. All right? Enjoy right, being out there here. on the field. This is normal, dude. Enjoy being out there on the field with your teammates, right? You're on the pad, in the stall, whatever you want to call it, right? Here we go. Here we go, two, four. The, the pit crews contribute every single week to the performance of a race team. Uh, our race cars uh, are very aero-sensitive, uh, rely on aerodynamics, and the closer you get your race car to the front of the pack, the better it's going to handle and the faster it's going to go. So when you come down pit road, uh, any position that you gain or lose is going to have an impact on the way that your car drives. Well, track position is, I feel like is always important at any track. Giving the driver a better position to start out is very important. And I know with the next-gen car, it's definitely been a little issue passing cars. So giving our driver the opportunity to be in front of, start in front of other people, it's always good. Step it up. Step it up there. And how long? And that's good right there, 92. Third team to go. First elite team to actually go. That's good. Lay down a time. Carl, that's on for you. That, Make that the rest of them scared. Make the rest of them scared. They all have to follow you. Let's 
side, nice left help. side. Definitely. Definitely. It was 894. 20 seconds. 894. Let's go. What have we been talking about right there? What, 310? Yeah, 307, 310. That's good. Okay. You didn't even think about it. Oh, you put, that normal, you put that normal 5.6 <laughs> with it? Not facts. It says, unbeatable. Unbeatable. Pit stops are a huge deal, and certainly over the years, um, you know, you've seen the industry as a whole uh, continue to put more and more emphasis on the athletes that we hire and the training programs and the, and the staffing that we have. At, you know, it's, it's, it's a big deal, and I want to say it's a bigger deal now than it's been before because with the next-gen car, there's, there's come an element of difficulty of passing that we haven't really seen in years past. Um, so every you know, position of track position that you can gain on pit road is such a big deal. And, and even for our team this season where we've uh, had some good finishes at the end of a race that's been very clutch with pit stops at the end of the race, um, that's a big deal. So uh, I, I think it's not just us and, and our team and our company. I think it's kind of throughout the industry and certainly proud of the efforts that we have here at Hendrick Motorsports and on the five car because we have we have great coaches, we have great teammates, we have great you know guys that go over the wall um, and, and that typically puts us in a really good spot on Sundays. Yeah, Cliff does a, a great job of being a leader when times get rough, you know, he's there to lead us and when times are good, he's there to remind us to be humble and um, he's always trying to make us be the best version of ourselves. And I think that's the biggest thing that you can take to the track and also take away from the track. Going into the All-Star race, I, I think we have a healthy dose of, of momentum right now anyways, just with the way our team is performing. I have all the confidence in the world that they're gonna perform great and, and be great on pit road. Hopefully we're, we're the fastest team there. And, uh, and if we are, again, that's gonna be a token of confidence, great. But we also have to you know, continue to, to keep our, our, our heads level and our expectations realistic for the rest of the season moving forward. But uh, winning a competition like that is never a bad thing. I think obviously it's important. Um, the less cars he has to pass on the track, the easier and the, you know, the better odds he's gonna have. Um, but I think honestly, Kyle could probably start from anywhere in the field and, and win the race. NASCAR's return to North Wilkesboro will send Kyle Larson to victory lane in the NASCAR All-Star Race for one million dollars. Holy smoly. He just won a million dollars. A million dollars. Yeah. First time in victory lane for the All-Star Race and also my first All-Star Race. So I'm so excited. This was awesome. Freaking five team rocks, baby. Let's go. Yeah.